Hi there everyone, welcome back to the Red and Blue Site YouTube channel. I know it's been a while, apologise, um, but a lot have been very busy with work recently. No excuse, but I've, because of work I wasn't at the Liverpool game, so I'm gutted I couldn't be there to vlog it. But I will be there at the weekend for the FA Cup action against Spurs. Great chance for us to progress with all the injuries Spurs have had. But today's video is to welcome Lucas Perry, um, goalkeeper, young Brazilian goalkeeper from Sao Paulo. He's joined Palace just today uh, on a loan deal, I believe. Um, may but potentially could sign him permanently later on in the season. But um, unlikely, I think he's only just there to plug in the gaps because of the obviously we've got Guaita and Hennessy injured. Sproni isn't really... As much as we all love him, and it was unfortunate that he made that mistake against Liverpool, but I think that kind of shows that although he's an absolute legend at the club, absolutely, I always I think he should have a statue outside the the new stand when it eventually gets built. But um, he's not, and he's not Premier League standard anymore, unfortunately. Um, so we needed a keeper. We brought in a keeper. I'm very happy. I've seen some highlights of him from Brazilian football. He looks absolutely fantastic. Um, some fantastic uh, acrobatic saves. Looks like he's a uh, very nimble, a bit same sort of um, stature in goal as Hennessy, but I think he's a bit more agile. He's quicker um, as well. So from what I've seen, the highlights I've seen looks like a good loan signing. But I think I, I wanted to touch more on this. It is a bit of a Palace Daily, if you like this one. I wanted to touch a little bit more on the transfer side of things because I've been kept quiet on the transfer front this January. I haven't said much. Last season, we all know that it was an absolute shambles in general, transfer-wise. This season, I want to know your thoughts. Are you as frustrated as last season? Because um, I'm not as frustrated because I think financially, it's obvious that we don't have the, the money to go splashing out because we're catching up on um, big wages we dished out in previous windows to keep us up. Yes, it worked back then, so you can't say necessarily that that was the the bad, the bad you know the, the wrong thing to do uh, in previous windows, but... Clearly, the wages and the bonuses that we've given players in the past is caught up on us. And we can't be giving those same sort of contracts to players now. We've got to be more wise over how we spend the money, loan deals, things like that. So personally, for me, I'm not... I'm I'm very I'm I'm always like this with Windows with Palace. I'm patient. In the summer, I was patient, and we all were very happy when Maya got signed, and I was happy when Kiate signed because I thought he was a decent player as well. Um, both players have done okay. I think Maya will. We're a bit all a bit unhappy that he's not getting as much regular first team action as we'd like. But I think he will start against Spurs. I probably will do um, tomorrow or Saturday. I'll do a proper preview to the Spurs game, so I won't touch really mu much on the Spurs game in this video. But I think that in transfer wise, in general, all we really I, I'm looking for is to get a lone striker in because. Putting the pressure on Benteke and Wickham, players who've come back from... Well, Benteke's had a fairly lengthy injury himself, but Wickham, over two years out, and then relying also on like Ayu, who's started well with 2019, but you can't expect him to be scoring the goals we need. I think it's a lot of pressure on them, so I think a lone striker we need to bring in. And personally, I think we need a lone winger. As well as Wilf and Andrews have done, especially Andrews of late and Wilf in his last two games, yes, they've been defeats, but against Liverpool, he had Milner on toast. He had... Um, who was it? Um, uh, the right back for Watford. His name's just gone over my head. Their Spanish right back. Um, he, he had him on toast as well. Of course, they were both defeats and he didn't really got an assist, obviously, for Townsend against Liverpool. And his stats this season have been poor. He has been poor in general as of this season for a player of his quality. Um, I think that it, I think most Palace fans will, would agree with that. Comment below if you think I'm wrong there and explain your reasons why if you don't think I'm right there. But um, I think Zaha's been poor this season for a player of his quality. Um, and, and as of late, they have both been on, on fire, really. They've been really, really good in terms of tempo-wise and trying to put in crosses across the, the box. And Townsend especially has probably been, in the last month or two, our player of the season, or the way he's playing and the goals he's scoring. They've been vital, crucial goals. Um, but I think there's no squad depth in those regions. I think they need pressure put on them in training because it's a, been a bit easy, especially for Wilf, because Wilf's obviously first name on the team sheet. I think players like Wilf need a little bit of, you know, they need a player in training that's going to put pressure on them to show that even even though you're Wilfred Zaha, you need to be, you know, you need to be performing a lot better in these games. I know it sounds critical of me, of Wilf, and I'm not usually like that. Um, but we all know how good Wilf is. And I think the way we get the best out of him um, is to have not only to, to obviously massage him and uh, to, you know we we've got to big him up as much as as we always do and 
put an arm around his shoulder. I think that's the best way to get the most out of Wilf. Um, but also to have some pressure on him in training and to make him realise that, yeah, you're great, but you need to have someone to, you know, be there in the waiting in case if you're in a bad run of form, like he has been at the points this season, to come in and maybe not necessarily start, but get, you know, sub on. And if he flies, whoever a loan, loan signing would be, if he starts flying, coming off the bench or something you know, that could get the response from Wilf that we need because we need his goals and assists because he's so vital to the team. Um, he does create so much space for other players, which is the media very um, very stubborn, you know, not to see that. Then they kind of go straight to his stats and say there's no end product, but don't realise what he creates for other players on the pitch. I don't think Townsend necessarily would have scored the goals he has or created the chances we, we've made. Um, without Zaha on the other side, drawing players over that side and trying, you know, take, letting other players have more room to work with. So, you know, there's a lot more than just the stats for Zaha, but I think to get the best out of him, we need another winger to put pressure on him and also, also Townsend. So that, was, that would be my, my shopping list, really. Two loan signings, a striker and a winger. I think if we do that, I'd be quite happy. Cenk Tosin, I think would be okay. He hasn't really hit the ground running with Everton, which is a bit worrying because um, if he's not really doing it at Everton, why would he necessarily be able to hit the ground running at Palace? But you never know. A new club, new atmosphere, new surroundings. It can change a player. We've seen that many times in the past. Uh, comment below. if you. I want you to specifically just to, if, just to you know, help my point out here a bit. Put down which striker... Realistic targets, by the way, which realistic striker and winger you would have on loan for Palace this January. Um, and I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. A winger and a striker, put, the, put it down below and then we can compare thoughts in another video in a later date, maybe towards the end of the transfer window. It's not long now until it's up. Um, but we need someone. We can't do a panic buy like Sorloth was. Um, it's unfortunate, but it was a panic buy last January. And um, yeah, we can't afford to do that again. We've got to make sure we just have cover there. I think we will stay up this season, but to be sure in case of injuries, in case of problems that we could have in the squad, like we've seen with the goalkeeper situation, you never know what could happen in a season with injuries. You've got to have that cover there. And I think that we need those line, loan signings if just to make everyone settle and at ease and then enjoy the rest of the season who knows go on a cup run great chance against Spurs at the weekend I will be doing a preview to that later on guys so be be, be sure to stay tuned for that at a later date um, probably tomorrow if I've got time if not Saturday but thank you guys so much for watching quick Palace preview back on it now kind of work has been a massive part I've played a massive part of my life the last few weeks been very busy but more videos will be coming soon. So thank you guys for being patient. I will be there on Saturday, hope to, or Sunday, I should say, for the Spurs FA Cup game. Hope to see a lot of you guys there as well. Like, share, subscribe. Comment below your thoughts on the transfer window. I'll see you guys next time.